Some of you may be wondering, with the release of Service Pack 1, should you stay with the RTM version of Exchange, or should you move to Service Pack 1? What is the wisest move? Now others may be wondering, which server should I use, 2003 or 2008? Actually, the two topics are linked together to some degree. First of all, if you do decide to utilize Server 2008 in your environment with Exchange, you must use Service Pack 1. The RTM version is not supported on Server 2008. If you decide to continue with Server 2003, you can install both the RTM and the Service Pack 1 versions of Exchange. But make sure you have all of the Service Packs applied before the install. It's very important though for you to understand that there is no upgrade from 2003 to 2008 that allows you to also upgrade your Exchange. So you cannot upgrade RTM to SP1 and then perform an upgrade to Server 2008. It's also not supported that you take a 2003 server running Exchange RTM and then upgrade it to 2008 and then try to upgrade to Exchange Service Pack 1. All of those different scenarios will break your Exchange. The best practice, the supported practice, is to perform a clean install of Exchange 2007 Service Pack 1 on a server running Server 2008 if that's your intention. But you may ask, well, if I do that, how do I upgrade my organization and mailboxes and so forth? Ah, uh, well, without the ability to upgrade with 2008, being forced to do the clean install, you're left with a migration. You can perform this in two different ways. One is by installing a new server. The other is by rebuilding an existing server. With a new installation, you can use the move mailbox command to move over mailboxes. You can also use database portability. The choice is really up to you and how it fits within your organization as to how you will proceed. With rebuilding an existing server, you remove Exchange 2007 RTM, then you upgrade it to Server 2008, and to perform a clean installation of Exchange 2007 Service Pack 1. Then you can use database portability or backup restore to move the data over. Remember, we all want to work with the latest and greatest, but you have to know the caveats and the planning necessary before moving to Server 2008 or Exchange Service Pack 1. Personally though, the benefits of both are worth the challenges.